So hello guys, this is Makoy again and this is Brew Better. So for today, I'll be brewing a coffee from Colombia and it's called a Finca Sanose Rum Barrel Age Natural. So for my brewer of choice, I'll use a Kono Dripper, which is a conical type brewer. And I'll use as well a filter paper, which is from Cafe, size 01. So for my grind size, uh, I use size 8 in AK43S and 16 clicks to Timer and 25 clicks to Commandant. So for my temperature, water temperature, I'll be using 94 degrees Celsius with a 91 total dissolved solids and we'll do a 15 grams of coffee to 1 is to 15 ratio. So we're targeting around 225 ml for our total beverage weight. And we'll do a 3 pour technique. We'll do a 75 times 3. So let's start brewing. So of course, let's pre-wet first our filter paper. Okay, let's start brewing. So 15 grams in. And of course, let's level the grounds evenly so for my first pour I add 75 ml of water for the blooming we will just wait uh, 30 to 40 seconds so after 40 seconds I'll add again 75 ml of water for our second pour so normally I hesitate aggressively in the second pour to make sure that we fully extract all the flavors and that all the volatile compounds of the coffee. So by the way, this coffee is from Caldas, Colombia, produced by Finca San Jose with an altitude of 1,750 meters of sea level and a Castillo varietal and it is processed through rum age natural. So again, I'm up for my last pour, adding 75 ml of water, targeting 225 ml. By the way, the coffee is taken and fermented for three months with an old age rum barrel. And while the coffee is inside the barrels, the coffee didn't absorb the aromas of oak, rum, and grapes. Then the coffee was roasted to highlight and bring the flavors forward. So we end at 2 minutes and 15. So it's done. So why this brew? So I use this uh, dripper filter and this uh, method because of course distinctive conical brewer shape ensures that the water is spread evenly throughout the filter and drips through a steady speed which gives a super smooth coffee with full body the taste of the rum is very magical as well and of course you can uh, drink this one over ice as well so let's taste it so for the taste the rum is very on point which is of course through the rum age uh, barrel process so let's try again Berries and grapes is showing up as well. What I like about this coffee is even you already uh, taste that very distinctive taste of rum is you still have that smooth and silky finish. So of course, always remember that the best coffee is the coffee that you enjoy. So feel free to share your brewing experience with this coffee. So cheers and don't stop.